if you want to go into sort of these imponderables, and then we'll get back to real yeah. life. Um, do you know about Pinocchio's nose, right? Right. So, okay, we all know Pinocchio's nose. So suppose Pinocchio declared, my nose is about to grow. Okay. What will happen next? He would say a lie, and it would grow. He would control that growth by lying, because that's how it grew. Wait, wait, so if he said, my nose is about to grow. Right. And he knows next? that he would then say a lie because his nose so grew every time he lied. So if it lies, then his nose doesn't grow. Oh, I get right. it. Okay, I was thinking he would say like a random lie after that. Okay, so if he's, oh, because then that statement in itself would not be a lie. It would be the truth. Correct. If it was a lie. Correct. This is fun. Okay, so then, okay, so what's next? <laughs> <laughs> no, my point is right so if he's telling the truth then his nose grows but his nose grows only when he's telling a lie okay and if he's lying his nose doesn't grow but his nose only doesn't grow when he's telling the truth so here's, here's my point it's not a paradox it's simply a sentence that cannot exist in his universe in is the it? Pinocchio universe not all statements are valid Okay. So it's not, even so about a, it's not even about a paradox. Okay. So, so um, the reason this is relevant, okay, because the whole last third of cosmic queries is on the f bleeding frontier of our understanding of the nature of the large scale universe. And so we don't even know if we're asking the right questions. That was one of my favorite tweets. I actually, I bookmarked it. Um, on 259, well, I guess kind of along the lines of what you just said, but one's quest in life should not solely be the search for answers. Why not find a pleasure in posing the questions themselves? So continue. Swanson. There it is. And, 259. And, <laughs> <laughs> you actually went through the book? I'm, 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 I, yeah. I feel no, it. of Thank course. You. It's really fun to read. Well, I'll get into the formatting questions later, but I really like the structure of it. But continue. Okay. So the, the point is, uh, just because you can assemble nouns and verbs in a sequence uh, doesn't end with a qu ending with a question mark. Just because it's a legitimate sentence in a language does not make it a legitimate question in the topic that you're addressing. Here's another example. Um, let's go find Santa Claus. And uh, where is he? Where's Santa Claus? The North Pole. Thank you. Good. So there's some <laughs> <mistakes. laughs> I'm a child. I'm a, I'm a grown-up child. I'm so excited when you said that. <laughs> Just, I mean, you know, Santa. You yeah. brightened up. Okay. So Santa's <laughs> on the North Pole. And by the way, all movies and cartoons that show him on the North Pole with his workshop, they always show, like, mountains and trees and things. People, there's yeah, no land on the North Pole. I have noticed that, actually. It, it is an ocean. Let me Google that. Water. It is, it is, he's on an ice flow for now until we no longer have ice flows. Right. So let's just make that clear. All right. So you go to Santa and say, Santa, uh, can you please point me in the direction of north? Yeah, look at this. We've got one right here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, what is going on? Why is this? This is not the North Pole. Okay, continue. These are just had to who share that. Flunked geography, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, they, they can just watch this live stream and they'll be like, okay, guys, we've been doing it all wrong. Santa should just have a bunch of igloos. That's yeah, just a bunch of igloos. And, and, and as, you know, as the planet warms up, uh, he can't be wearing those heavy clothes. He's going to be in a bathing suit eventually. So we're going to have right. to, you know. Uh, Santa, got to gotta do some workouts. <laughs> got to get those protein cookies from Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Eating Make too them much vegan. Cookies I'm just at every visit. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So here's the point. So I go to Santa and say, Santa, yeah. please point me north. Mm -hmm. In every direction Santa points is due south. The very question, which way is north, has no meaning on the North Pole. Okay. So we, we yeah. know that because we're outside of that and we can see it. We, we understand the way we set up the grid. It is such that on the North Pole, you cannot travel north. You can't even travel east or west. You can only go due south in every direction you go. Point is, mm -hmm. that's easy to see. The Pinocchio case is easy to see how the sentence has no meaning in those universes. 
But on the frontier, do we even know whether our question has meaning? If you're going to ask what was around before the Big Bang, but if time, before implies time, and if time began at the Big Bang, the very question itself might not have meaning at all. Yeah. So we don't know. And so, yeah. so this book is a mixture of right. questions where we got good answers for you. Other questions that here's the best we've got, we're not sure. And still other questions like, look, I, we don't even know if we're asking the right questions. Let's give it a shot. And so yeah. this is this is an 